drawings for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. our public hearing and we'll move into public comment. Guess we can't get anybody to say anything. <laughs> There's something up in the end. And at this point, um, we have a new uh, student graduate here tonight. And Lisa, would you like yes. to swear her in? Isabella? Raised your right hand, okay? And you just repeat after <coughs> me. I'm going to swear you in as student director of the board of education. You know what? Hang on. Can we do it in front of the class? Absolutely. Or a better show. Yeah. Raise your right hand, and then you can repeat after me, okay? I, Isabella, Isabella, say your last name. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of my position as student rep for the Highland Central School District. My position as student rep for the Highland Central School District. Board of Education of the best to my abilities. The Board of Education to the best of my abilities. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well, Mr. Bell, on behalf of the board, we welcome you to uh, the Board of Education as our student rep, and hopefully you'll have a very enjoyable season here with us. Uh, we're hoping that you're going to bring to the table a lot of things that the board's waiting to hear from all your constituents throughout the district. Maybe we can help in any way possible to, to make their lives here in Highland Central School District a lot better. So we appreciate you uh, taking your time to serve on this board. I know, you know some of our meetings are long, but if you have any conflicts as far as an exam the next day and you need the, the legal or you just let one of us know beforehand and we'll get you out here or we'll put your agenda, your report up front and then you can leave. Okay? So congratulations again. Good luck. Thank you. Great. Okay. Acceptance of reports. Be resolved the Board of Education to find the recommendation of the superintendent approved and acknowledges reviewing the following reports. Our Board of Education meeting minutes, August 6th and August 20th, 2019. Treasurer's Report, June 2019. Internal Claims Audit Report, June 2019, through Warrant Number 106. Can I have a motion, please? Motion by Heather, second by Mike. Discussion? Well, I had a comment. Did we just blow by the public hearing for the Code of Conduct Policy? No, well, we did. Yes, we, did. we opened we did. it and we closed we it. Yeah. yeah. We opened and closed it. Yeah. Wow, that was fast. No comment. Trying to log in. All right. <laughs> yes. Anyway, thank you to the reports. Any uh, yeah. comments on the uh, acceptance of reports? We're good. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? I need to abstain. I didn't do my homework. Okay. All right, under personnel, uh, do you have any issues taking personnel as a block from A through to J? Everybody 
everybody fine with that? That's good. I have a motion to take uh, personnel at the block. Motion by Heather, second by Ed. Discussion? Anyone want to pull one out for a standalone? Or we're good? They were good. Okay. No discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Two abstain. Yep. Mr. President, we do have, <clears throat> though, uh, we only had one, we had one new hire here, uh, so I wasn't able to make it, but we do have uh, one of our new teacher hires that wasn't able to make the previous board meeting, so uh, Cornelia is here, so could you just stand up sure. and tell the board your name and what your position is? New seventh grade science teacher from Middle School. Congratulations. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you for coming. Guess what, Isabella? Okay. You're up. Yeah. Well, quick. I might not always have right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Uh, so, good evening. Um, I'm really excited to be joining the Board, board of Ed for this next uh, school year. So, this past Thursday the 6th, you guys all know, um, was the district's first day of school, um, and it went very well. Um, the students are adjusting back to the school schedule, and the start of extracurriculars are already underway. In the middle of high school, we have clubs already meeting for their first meetings and getting back into the swing of it. Um, our JV and varsity Hall sports are participating in practices every day and meets and games and all the things. Um, we are thrilled to welcome four new teachers to the high school this year. Mrs. Babino for Art, Mr. Cunningham for Science, um, Mr. Ianazoni for STEM, and Mrs. Bradley for Chorus. Um, overall, it's been a great first week. Um, and in addition, I regret to inform you that I won't be able to make it next week. I have a prior commitment, but Mr. Zimmer will be reporting, and I will be back the following morning. Great. Cool. Does anyone have any questions for the bell? Mm -hmm. You should call your bell, right? Doesn't matter to me. Okay. Is um, what's there an opportunity? What's been the opportunity in the past for board reps to reach out to the other two schools in the district? Contact people. Sure, well, I think you meet with Mr. Zimmer here, is that right? So, yeah. so Bella can meet with Mr. Zimmer, and we can have Mr. Through Mr. Zimmer, he can help reach out to the other two buildings if they have any news to report from their student councils, or, or you know, if there's no clubs at the elementary school, but if there's any news to report, we'll, we'll make sure he does that. I also have a sibling in the middle school, so I can get the news okay. from there, and then I'll find my way to the elementary yeah, school no, as well. Just, you know, she's good for everybody to hear yes. what's yeah, going yeah. on in the other building. You know. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Any other questions for Bella? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, under business and operations, budget transfer. Be resolved, the Board of Education, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approves the following budget transfer for the 2019-20 school year as presented to the board this meeting. Budget transfer number nine. 1902 for $214,156. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Moved by Sue, second by Mike. Discussion? Lisa, I just had a chance to quickly review this, and I want to tell you that this is the first year, I'm pretty sure it's the first year since I've been on the board, that I've gotten a report for month end June, because it's always been told to me you have to wait for the order, have to wait for the order. <laughs> And it, it's just, this is so refreshing. And it's so nice seeing you tighten up everything with this budget transfer. And this is, thank you for getting there. Yeah, because it, it was always verboten. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. We're getting there. So yeah. thank you. Thank you. That's it. Okay, any other questions? All right, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carry surplus recycled technology. Be resolved, the Board of Education, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approves the attached list 
of recycled computer technology equipment and dispose of it in accordance with district policy and New York State municipal and school law. Can I have a motion, please? Motion by Tom, second by Heather. Discussion? Do we know the direction that this equipment will go? I believe um, Carol Skomash works with an e-waste recycler, and most of the equipment will be recycled. This is, I'm surprised, I don't know about this, but we'll put it out to a public auction. I will check with Ms. Kodash, but it says in her memo that it's obsolete and damaged beyond repair. Well, that, I know, and the, my question is, are, are we receiving benefits to the e-recycler that's simply disposing, or that's simply disposing? I think there are better ways that we can recoup some revenue, even if it's a small amount, uh, even obsolete equipment. We'll check that. Yeah. Sure. Is, is that recycling um, eliminating any level of exposure for us? Recycled. Usually you get a certificate of data destruction right. from the recycling company. Okay. Okay. So, so you don't want to It's just uh, any hard drives yeah. they take, yes. they know they've got to, we don't ever want to see that. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? So carry. Surplus vehicle equipment be resolved the Board of Education upon the recommendation of the superintendent approves the following school bus to be considered surplus due to high mileage and the probability of not passing DOT inspection. Bus number 144 of 2007 GMC. Can I have a motion, please? Right. Motion by Mike, second by Ed. Discussion? And that yeah. will go to bed. Yeah. Yes, it yes, will. Yeah. This, is, this is my point. Is that the well, this is still goes, usable. Well, as is the other equipment, it's just a question of what, you know, what portions are you using. Just because it's an obsolete for us, at least, you know, obsolete for people who have, uh, especially in a maker attitude. Yeah, I know those um, capital or the <coughs> excess websites, OGS, stuff where it goes, is a lot of municipalities, there's a lot of stuff on there. You can buy mountains to see if you use. Okay. Um, we have a motion by Mike, second by Ed on the uh, surplus vehicle equipment. Any other discussion regarding that? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? So carry. <coughs> Rejection of weight room equipment bid. Be resolved, the Board of Education, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approves that in order to standardize the weight room equipment in the high school, the Board of Education rejects all bids for the weight room equipment bid, which was held on July 30th, 2019. Can I have a motion, please? Motion by Mike, second by Ed. <coughs> Lisa, maybe you want to explain, uh, does anyone have any questions regarding that, why we're... Yeah, I... I, I yeah. So we had... Just curious. Tom, what are you So uh, we had put some... We're, we want to continue <coughs> to upgrade and improve the high school weight room. So we did have to put some things out to bid, um, but really, in retrospect, we want to stay with the same type and company the equipment we have there so we don't have a mishmash of all different companies and machines. So we need to first reject the bid list, the bids that we got, and then do another motion to standardize equipment. That way we can just then buy directly the equipment that we want and need from the specific company that we've already, it's a local company that we've dealt with. And we want to continue with that line. So they don't have all different brands and machines, so if something breaks, Oh, it, it's hard yeah. to repair, get the service. These are not the kinds of bids we do all the time, mm -hmm. so I'm sure that when they saw all these bids come mm -hmm. in, they're mm -hmm. all over the place, oh, to say, wait a minute. Right. They were. Right. Mm -hmm. it was, we've, got, we've got to put out a standard set, oh, okay. and then allow them to bid. Right. Yeah. The proposal when we put out the bid, we didn't have uh, 
didn't specify the, the, the uh, brand. No, we the, did not specify yeah, the brand. Sure that would lead to a lot and of until, yes. yes, and then we had further conversation with staff and realized that there had already yeah, been some okay. upgrades. So. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. Now we're going to standardize the equipment in the weight room. Be resolved the Board of Education upon a recommendation of the superintendent in order to standardize the weight room equipment in the high school. The Board of Education approves to standardize the following. Our treadmills, ellipticals, and bikes would be Spirit and Precor. Our rowers would be Concept. And our benches and weights would be York. Can I have a motion, please? Motion by Mike. Second by Heather. Discussion? No discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carry. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sarah. All right. Well, time. exactly. Um, it was a great start to our new school year. It was so exciting to see not only the staff and faculty, but of course all of our students back in the building. So Tom and I visited all three buildings the first and second days. So it was very fun. We went to kindergarten orientation, the sixth grade orientation. I was at high school, I was able to be there, but I'm um, so great to um, see everyone back. Of course now, much as Bella mentioned with the extracurriculars, we're starting to get our committees up and running as well. So um, this Thursday, we're going to have our first organizational meeting to get our backpack program up and running again. So this is the opportunity for anyone that's new that wants to come and be a part of that. Um, it is on the 12th, Thursday the 12th at 3.30 in the afternoon at the elementary school library. So if anyone here would like to go or a member of the public is certainly welcome. Um, we partner with the Methodist Church in town that's actually housed there. They, I don't know if any of you have seen, but I've seen on social media they're doing fundraising for it as well. They actually continue the program through the summer and um, provide food for families as well. So we'll get that up and running um, hopefully by next week of school. Um, we had the new teacher orientation since our last meeting um, and this is a great, we have a, a huge new class this year. There was 13 new teachers. Um, awesome. So very exciting to have all the energy. It's a great combination of teachers who have a little bit of experience as well as brand new. Um, it was a very dynamic group of people. We really um, did a lot between just nuts and bolts of you know, this is how you do things in Highland to, again, uh, really talking about our mission statement and what that means for them in their classroom, uh, those kind of things. So it was a great two days uh, with our new teachers. Um, and then I will be doing a substitute teacher training at the end of the month. Um, we, I don't know if you all are aware, uh, but before a, a, someone subs for our district, they go through a two and a half hour training with me. And again, part of that is doing their paperwork, but a lot of it is what our expectations are for substitutes when they're in the building. Um, you know, gives them some tips and strategies for, for going into a classroom where they don't necessarily know the students, how to um, manage as well as what happens if the lesson plan doesn't last as long as the teacher thinks it might, you know, just some strategies like that. So any teacher that comes in and um, much like we've talked about with bus drivers, it's very difficult to get substitute teachers. Every district is, is crying for substitutes, um, and this is a way that we can, can help our, our subs be successful and hopefully um, be loyal to us as substitutes as well. So uh, it's, it's, I always enjoy doing it. Again, you get a, a real cross-section. Some of it is um, very young, new teachers, fresh out of college, and then you also have retirees who want to continue to be in the classroom. So, it's a good combination of um, experience and not. Um, and then the last thing, uh, I think two meetings ago, you approved our school counseling plan, the district-wide guidance plan. Um, one part of that is that we need to meet twice a year with the committee to review the plan, um, you know, talk about any changes we might need to make. And we'd like to offer the opportunity for a board member to be a part of that committee. We're planning to meet on September 30th, which is our first full day Superintendent's Conference Day, at 1.30 in the afternoon. I know it's not convenient for many of you, um, but if a, a board member would be interested in being there, our plan for the first meeting is to really just to do an overview of what's happening in, in the guidance slash counseling department in each of the buildings. 
um, go through the plan, and then they are going to present to the Board of Education on October 18th, um, so that all of you have a good idea of what happens at each building. Because it really is a very different set of responsibilities from elementary into middle school into high school. So I think it'll be good for, for all of you to um, have an understanding of, of what that looks like. So if there's anyone who would like to be on the committee, please let me know. Um, I can also send out an email, just a reminder, if people would like that with the date and everything, and then, then you can get back to me. Um, that's all I have for now. Yes, that would be great, because if none of the others are interested or can't make it for that reason, maybe I'll be Okay, great. That. Yeah, I'll send out an email tomorrow, and then you can look at your calendars and, and let me know. Just so we... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Representation. Mm -hmm. Any questions for Sarah? Thank you, Sarah. Tom? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to again uh, thank Bella for stepping up and uh, being a student advocate for a great year. So we had, a, as Sarah said, we had a fantastic opening uh, week. Uh, I have to give a shout out certainly to our buildings and ground staff, the entire buildings and ground staff for just all the hard work. And they have a very limited amount of time in the summer to get all the buildings and grounds ready, and they absolutely were. Our transportation department um, did a phenomenal job, and it's always uh, tricky that those first few days, especially with our very young students, uh, to make sure they're on the right buses or all the routes are set. And you know, we had a great kindergarten orientation where the kids get to ride the bus. So, uh, you know, big, big thanks to our transportation department. Again, I want to thank uh, uh, Mr. Miller and Mr. Barone for uh, uh, coming to our opening day. We have Dave Sanderson uh, as our keynote speaker. Dave was the last passenger off of the Miracle on the Hudson flight and uh, talked about how moments matter um, and how each thing that happened really was a moment in his life that changed the direction of his life. Uh, really because he wasn't even supposed to be on that flight and he, he changed his flight to get home early. So really his whole story really sunk in and that became, kind of became the theme for the day and uh, you'll keep hearing me say that moments matter. The moments matter here because everyone from the teachers to the bus drivers and everyone in between, we all, if you work in a school district, you have a power to have such a positive impact on students every day. Uh, so uh, it was a great day. We, um, we will be doing either, we have our, our in-service day, we have, one on, we have a half day on October 31st, then we do a full in-service day on election day, which is on the 5th. We're going to be doing uh, called QPR. It's a program I've done in the past. This is a nationally recognized suicide prevention program. QPR stands for Question, Persuade, Respond. And it teaches people how to respond and how to react and what to do if you think you see the warning signs of suicide. I was able to secure the same presenter I've had in the past because I know this person is really good. Um, those were the first dates that he was available, so we're going to book that. You first do your faculty and staff, and then just go to the students. So that's going to be our plan throughout the school year. And we'll do all the questions. It's probably going to be, we're leaning towards probably November 5th. That way we know we have everyone in the district. So all faculty and staff. Um, for that training, and then we'll start with grades um, I mean the middle school level and then we'll start moving our way up so that it'll take some time, it might even be more than a year, but we will get through all the students. So it's QPR, you can look it up, it is a very well-known um, program. When we talked about it, when we met with all our, uh, our counselors and psychologists, they were familiar with QPR, and actually some of them were also familiar with this gentleman who was the presenter. Some great news, um, I told the board about it privately, but really I haven't publicly at the board being announced it. So uh, we do have the Mid Hudson Study Council Awards for Excellence coming up. And this is, uh, these are annual awards given out to people in school districts. Uh, they're nominated from school districts from Orange, Ulster, Sullivan, Rockland, 
uh, in various categories. I believe we may or may not have a former recipient sitting in the audience <laughs> of the award for excellence. Uh, but uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, we have three winners this year, people being uh, recognized for their excellence. One is um, in the area of support services, Wade Sargent. Wade is our security guard here at the high school. The second one is in the category of community services, Steve Lawback. Steve is a local businessman and very involved in Rotary. And he really is the lead on a lot of projects directly impacted with the school. He does the, um, uh, the book project at the elementary and the middle school program. He's a big part, one of the leaders in the RIP Fest, which pay, helps for our scholarships. And uh, Junior Achievement, the big program. We, we actually have one of the biggest Junior Achievement programs in the state, and Steve is the lead on that. So um, I'll be at Rotary tomorrow. I, he was very touched when I announced it a few weeks ago. Uh, and then the third recipient in the area of administration is Joel Freer, elementary principal. So this, I do have the information here, I'm going to give it to Lisa, but it is $60 per person for people who want to attend. This is on October 17th. You need to RSVP by October 4th. So if you do want to go, let Lisa know, and she'll let Carly know, because actually we have to send us one check from the district. So uh, you would need to, you know, pay, make a check out to Highland Central Schools, and then the district will send one big check. And again, that is on the October 17th. That's at Anthony's Pier 9. So that'll be a great night for Highland celebrating some of our best. And last thing, this is a uh, just recently organized. The Rotary Club never sleeps, uh, the Highland Rotary Club certainly. So on October 6th, that's a Sunday, they're going to be doing what's called a bike quest. The Flyers should be going home tomorrow, if they didn't go home today. That's what the elementary students, then they'll be available for middle school. It's really geared towards certainly the elementary and, then, and middle school students. This will be at Tony Williams Park, and you know, with the fact that we have the rail trail right here, that the middle school is incorporating bike riding into phys ed classes. So this is a whole bike safety program. They'll have bicycle experts there. They'll do safety checks on the kids' bikes. They'll get a free bike helmet. And then they'll culminate, they'll have some of the programs, and then they'll culminate with actual bike riding right on the rail trail. So that's October 6th. It's a free event. Um, the flyers go home tomorrow, I believe it's you know, from uh, you know, 10 until 2, uh, I believe those are the hours, but the flyers will be going home. So that'll be a great event, and again, thanks to the Rotary for putting that together. And that's all I have, Mr. President, at this time. Any questions for the superintendent? Okay. We'll move on to under uh, Board of Education, new business, certification of lead evaluators, classroom teachers, section 3012-D, be resolved the Board of Education pursuant to the provisions of educational law, section 3012-D and part 30-3.10 of the Regents Rule, hereby certified that the following individuals have completed all the necessary training to be certified as lead evaluators for classroom teachers. And I won't name all of them, but uh, I have a motion to accept. Motion by Ed, second by Mike. Discussion? It's a standard every year. Yes. We yeah. have to do this to enable um, <coughs> the, the, the evaluations to be official. Yeah, certified. Yes. yes, we have um, Gwendolyn Rohrbeck comes from um, BOCES and does a training for every certification. <coughs> okay, so all the questions, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. Code of Conduct Manual to be resolved. The Board of Education, upon the recommendation, the superintendent approves the Highland Central School District Code of Conduct Manual for 2000. 
1920 school year as presented to the board at this meeting. Can I have a motion to use? A motion by Tom, second by Mike. Discussion? Yes. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. Uh, Ulster County School Board. Uh, I believe it's their kickoff meeting, keeping it a local event. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, keep it local. Yeah, quote, keep it local event. Yep. RSVP by September 23rd. That event takes place on October 10th, 2019. Just an FYI. I have some information on that, Mr. Sure. Um, we, uh, we received the invitation from Ultra School Boards, and I do uh, applaud them that, you know, uh, you know, I've attended all the meetings, uh, Sue, I believe, has been pretty much every meeting, and I know that uh, people, when they can, make it. Um, they're trying to, you know, kick off the year with some, you know, you know, good information, good discussion, hopefully amongst the school districts. So, uh, at this meeting, it'll be their regular meeting, they'll start at 6, uh, I'm sure they'll have some dinner for us, and then at 6.30, the meeting usually that officially kicks off. What they had asked for us to do, uh, they're saying, at this meeting we're inviting you to present two of your school board accomplishments from 2018-2019, and then one current goal that your board is working on. So they're asking you, would you mind sending, if you'd like to do this, to send a PowerPoint of two to five slides uh, with this. So, Sarah and I and Lisa, we took the liberty of getting together and putting together a draft presentation for the Uxbrook School Board, and certainly we want your blessing on it. You this is a time for, you know, there... What's the difficult? I'm sure there's tangible examples yes. everywhere. Yes. So, you know, this, you know, if we want to have a larger discussion about, you know, for Highlands purposes of, you know, accomplishments. <laughs> this is really for, specifically for this meeting, we had to keep it to two things from last year and one thing for this year. So again, last year, this is what we said were district accomplishments. We closed out our project, uh, and you can see, you know, we included then some of the things that we did in order to close that project out. And again, we, you know, we're seeing the, uh, the benefits of having the cameras and the swipe card system. And then also, you know, that great news that we received uh, you know, late in the spring that we were named a recognition school, our attendance and graduation rate at 95%, and we did very well on the region's exams. This is our chance to brag a little bit at UPSPA. Again, if we can have a bigger discussion amongst ourselves about things we want to work on. And then for this year, uh, we'll re this they wanted one current goal. So we felt, well, this is certainly a current goal, and we'll rename that current goal. We call it air of emphasis, but it's current goal. And our, our STEM, you know, we want to develop our STEM program this year and really get it down. So we hired, you know, a high school person last year. Uh, we, hired, we created the elementary person for this year, and now throughout this school year, we'll provide time for each of the levels, the elementary, middle, and high school STEM person to get together so they can build a K-12 through curriculum for STEM. So we felt these were things that we would want to share amongst the districts that we're proud of. And then I don't know if they'll want that, but... Uh, as always, I say, make this coming year better than the one before. So, you, you don't have to tell me now, but if that's okay with you, that was going to be the presentation we we're going to send for the purposes of this UXPA meeting. Okay? Great. Thank you. And thank you to Sarah and Lisa for helping with that. Okay, and the other uh, FYI And certainly let Lisa know if you can make that meet. I'll be there. Okay. Yep. That's October 10th. October, yeah, it's the same night, I believe, at our National Honor Society inductions. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I won't be at the National Honor Society inductions. <coughs> I'll be at the office. Oh, yes. You're be grinding. Oh, yeah. 
a lot of great stuff going on. Okay, and the other FYI, what Tom mentioned earlier, is the Mid Hudson Student Council Awards of Excellence, Study Council Awards of Excellence. Excellence. All right, uh, anyone have anything for the good welfare of the district? Any old business that we can pick up on? <coughs> All right. I'll open the meeting back up to public comment. Um, Stacey Allison, I have a son in fifth grade, and he had the pleasure of going to the STEM classroom the other day, and he very much enjoyed it, so I thank you oh, for giving him the opportunity to go. And I'm glad it happened before he moved on to more school. He had the chance, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thanks for coming. My name is Sean Burke Reynolds. I have two children in this district, one in uh, second grade and one in seventh grade. But I wanted to ask a question about the backpack program. Mm -hmm. um, do you, I, I'm also a teacher. But did you ever consider possibly asking your uh, teacher union to ask teachers if they would like to donate money through? their paychecks because that's what we do in our district. Oh really? Oh, that's an idea. It seems to work out pretty well. Okay. Well, we'll look I think at that. the lowest is like $3 per paycheck. That's fantastic. All right. We'll look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can they do that? Do that? Or do that? 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 Since, since you brought up that back um, in Poughkeepsie, the high school kids, um, they have like a culinary arts program and they um, help put the backpacks together with the culinary. Anyway, so it's part of their service credit in the high school. I don't know how that would work. Yeah, this is our, our second year of, yeah. of, of really managing it as a school wide and working with uh, the Methodist Church. Last year, we were able to, we sent out a schedule and it was mostly teachers who signed up to, to pack. We sent out about 43 to 45 backpacks a week. Um, so yeah, we're, we're looking at ways to keep it sustainable. Again, funding is always an issue. You know, I know um, Ms. Gillette has also had experience in a previous district and they ran a little bit different. So yeah, we're always thinking, trying to figure out ways to make it run more smoothly. And Initially, when the program began, it was a concern about giving the anonymity mm -hmm. to the students involved so that there wasn't any question of, you know, the, so yeah. there was no stigma. Yeah, and that fine line between having students involved and being Yeah, they just pack them. They don't right. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. methodologies to do that. And I think, years. too, in the last couple of years, it has become such a widespread program. You yeah, know, every school like, you know, Everyone's talking about it more than they did when it first started. It it's, <laughs> you know, like, it, it was it was kind of hush-hush, and now it just seems like it's... Are our like, local farms supporting this? We have not reached out, but that, that's a good idea. Part of it is the fresh produce, making sure that... Um, well, it still has to pass through food service, but we get a lot, I know, in Marlboro, we get okay. a lot of All right, good idea. farm yeah. 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 I will say that I, my district back home from me, we started out like that. Yeah. yeah, we had it for a couple of years. We started out, we were packing bags ourselves, yeah. and um, we were actually asking for donations and stuff, and then eventually they came up with different uh, strategies. I know one is the one from our paycheck, which seems to be working out well, and then we partnered with Hudson Food Bank. Right. And, so, and we are, the Methodist Church has partnered with the food bank, and mm -hmm. right, but it's still, you still have to pay for parts yeah. of that, so mm -hmm. yes, keeping that funding for that's a great idea. Meeting next week to get back yes, on next week to yeah. get back on schedule. So okay. 17 to be here at 7 p.m. for a report. So, kind of a motion to adjourn, motion by Heather, second by Ed. And again, thank you, Favor. Okay. It's nice to close. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good night.